Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to swap eyes, which believe it or not is a very common thing that I see in portraits where someone might have one eye that is slightly bigger than the other, they might come into their photo shoot having maybe uh, an infection or something going on in one of their eyes where they can't quite open it as much as the other eye and it can be um, a bit of a distraction when you're looking at an image uh, where one eye is slightly bigger than the other. So there is a fairly simple, it involves a few steps, but I think the results are well and truly worth it. So let's have a look at how to do an eye swap in Photoshop. All right, so this image on the screen, what I wanna do is make this image camera right appear similar in size to the image camera left. So how am I going to do this? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a copy of the image of the eye camera left and I'm going to place it over the camera right side of the eye and then there'll be a few adjustments just to make it all blend in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lasso tool and I'm going to roughly just trace around the area of the eye and I'm going to go all the way into the bridge of the nose and include some of the eyebrow there. So there's my selection and now what I want to do is make a copy of that. So in order to do that the shortcut is Command J. And now what I've got is a copy of the eye. All right, so if I was to simply take that eye across and move it across to the camera right side, you can see that it's not quite right. The, the eye is obviously facing the wrong way. So what I can do is now go down to Edit, Transform, and I can flip that eye horizontal. All right, so now I'm getting a slightly better, at least the eye is facing in the right way and I can come in and place that in the right spot. And what I can do is just reduce the opacity and come right in and line it up. And what I wanna do is line the bottom section of the eye to make sure that that's all fitting in and I want to make sure that the iris is in the same spot as well and all the the edges of the eye are lining up. So that's looking pretty good there. So we'll come back and I will move the opacity back to 100%. Okay, so we can see a couple of issues uh, still going on. Uh, so first thing is that the, this side, camera left of the skin is slightly brighter than camera right. So I just wanna make sure that that skin tone is a similar color. So what I'm going to do is come in and do a curves adjustment layer. But what I wanna do is if I was to now do that curves adjustment layer and apply that Overall, it's going to darken the entire image. That's not what I want. I just want to darken this particular section. So if I now clip this curves adjustment layer to the layer underneath, the curves adjustment will only affect this particular area, this layer. So in order to do that, I'm holding down the option. So I've, you can see when I hover over that layer, there's a little hand tool. So if I hover just in between the two layers here and hold down the option on a Mac, Alt on a Windows, you can see when I do that, you see that little arrow that tells me that that's now clipping this top layer to this layer underneath. And now when I make an adjustment, it's only going to apply the curves adjustment to this layer. So I can come in and what I can do is just click on the hand tool and I can come in now and just tell Photoshop that I want to darken this area of skin tone. So if I click on that and drag down, it's going to find the area of the curve 
and I'll get a better match. And the other thing I can do to help me is I can change my blend mode to luminosity. So that is going to tell Photoshop that I don't want to change the color. I don't want the color to increase in saturation. I just want to apply a curves adjustment layer to the brightness or darkness of that image. So if I change the blend mode to luminosity, that's going to help with that. So you can see now that I've got a much better match. All right, and now I can come in and um, blend that in a bit better. All right, so now we can see Um, we'll create a little group of their own. We'll call that I. And we can see we've got before and after. Okay, so it still looks really dodgy around here. We'll address that last. But the next thing that I want to look at is if we have a look closely, if I turn that off, have a look at where the highlight is. So where this has been lit, the, the highlight comes in from camera left of the eye. So it's at like uh, 11 o'clock, 10 or 11 o'clock if, if this was the uh, a, a clock face. And same on this eye. When I flip the eye around, the highlight is on the wrong side. So now what I need to do is flip that highlight around. So what I'm going to do is click on this eye here and I'm going to come in and I'm going to trace around the eye here. Oop. Trace around there. All right, so I've got that eye selected and I'm going to make a copy of the eye. Command J. All right, so now I've just got, you can see here, a copy of the eye selected and I'm going to flip it around. So edit, transform, flip horizontal. And there you go. Now the, the highlight is on the right side of the eye. So we can see that that's all looking pretty good, but I now need to blend these edges to make it look less obvious. So what I'm going to do is come up to my eye folder here and I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to paint with black and black will hide anything in this new layer that I want to hide. So I want to actually soften off these edges. So I'm going to get a brush, make sure that it's zero hardness, opacity 100%, mode is normal, and I'm going to bring my flow right down to maybe 10%. And I'll bring the size of my brush down. And I'm now going to come in and just blend in these edges because I don't need most of this information here. I can use, so I'm just brushing back in. So all I wanna do is basically save that eye area. I don't need any of this area on the, the cheeks. And because I've got such a low flow, I can build up my editing. So I'm just, softening those edges so it all blends in nicely. And now that's looking pretty good. Let's have a look. We've got before and after. And now we've opened up the eye so that they both match, but we've got the highlights on the right on the right side and we've just uh, fixed her eye and blended it in there. So, and, and the other thing you can do is uh, maybe do some uh, burning and dodging. So I might just add another curves adjustment layer, clip it to this again, 
make sure it's only influencing this eye and I'm just going to darken that area a little bit just to match it in a little bit more so we can see before and after and I think that's looking pretty good so that's a fairly uh, quick and easy way and I think it makes uh, quite an impact uh, to the image when she has both her eyes open like that.